Good evening. My name is Ray Janos. I'm the manager of DC School and Community Initiatives. And uh, I'm here on behalf of our president, Deborah Rutter, um, our senior vice president of education, Ma Mario Rosero, as well as uh, the director of school and community programs, Jeanette, uh, Jeanette McCune. Um, welcome and thank you. It's my pleasure to be here this evening to open up this tonight's performance. Uh, first, I'd like to thank DJ Ra. Oh, they're already that quick, but please give them a round of applause. <laughs> um, DJ Ra comes from, comes from the Words, Beats, and Life, uh, welcoming you to, with the, to the stage with the great performance and music that they've uh, provided. Um, part of Words, Beats, and Life's mission statement states that we are unapologetic advocates for the transformative power of hip-hop culture in all its arts forms. Um, empowering artists and relentlessly, to relentlessly create and refine systems that demonstrate this notion of positive change through creativity. We embrace the sacred nature of our work and our roles as keepers and innovators of our culture. Words, Beats, and Life is an important partner in collaboration with the Kennedy Center, and particularly the Kennedy Center's edition of Hip Hop Culture. So thank you to the, du the uh, DJ duo, DJ Ra. Give them another round of applause. Tonight's performance is part of our education programming and our commitment to ensuring that everyone is welcomed and provided an opportunity to engage with art in a way that's personally meaningful. Uh, so what we ask tonight is that we really want to know what your thoughts are of the performance. Uh, we would like to do so and we would greatly appreciate it if after the show you could take a moment and complete a brief survey. So many of you already have a playbill and there's a stuffer in there that has the survey. And if you uh, don't want to take the time, you have pencils as well. Uh, and if you don't have the time to do it now, you can also go via the web link on the back of that flyer, as well as uh, the QR code, you can also snap that. Uh, from there, uh, we really do appreciate it. There's also one more option. We have iPads. Uh, so our friends from uh, R&E, Research and Evaluation in the back, uh, they greeted you coming in, and we look forward to working with them to gather your, uh, your input. Um, so the re a big reason that we're asking you to do this is that we receive partial funding from the U.S. Department of Education for this performance, and your responses will contribute to reporting regarding Millennium Stage audiences. Our staff will collect pr paper surveys um, as you exit, so thank you very much for that. Um, getting into the meat of what it is and why I'm here, so I'll tell you, tonight's program has been curated and, uh, and features some of the members of our Kennedy Center's Youth Council who I have the esteemed pleasure of working with all year round. Uh, they're great young people that are here, and we brought them in. They start, the Kennedy Center Youth Council, founded in 2016, was formed to ensure that youth voice and input are meaningfully included in the Kennedy Center's uh, programming, and the youth feel honored and welcome to be valued members of the community. So I really look forward to seeing show, showcasing this show, and uh, I'm looking at all my great youth council members that I get to work with all year round, and they have a lot to share with you tonight. Uh, so please sit back, relax, and enjoy the performances uh, by youth and for youth tonight. Uh, I am pleased to welcome Kennedy Center Youth Council member and main MC for, the, for tonight, Ms. Taika Wallace. Thank you. What's up? If I fall, because my wedges are tall, don't laugh. It happens to the best of us. Okay. I'm going to be like a rapper. I'm not going to use this dance. Okay, cool. Our first um, offering, shall we say, our first offering tonight is a short film by Maine Curtis, also another member of the Kennedy Center Youth Council. Maine is a multimedia artist with a focus on digital photography and film and founded the Short Films Club at her school. See, you know, people, we do other things at school other than, you know, complain about our grades. We also do that too, though. Um, Maine, please come and talk about your film. Would you like to stand or you want to? Hi, I'm Maine Curtis. Um, I directed the short film that we'll be on shortly. Um, and my friend Megan Sweeney edited it. Um, it's kind of about um, our relationship with time and growing up in suburbia. So I hope you enjoy. OK, and if you could direct your eyes upward to the screen above our head.
Tonkin School of Music strives to enhance the lives of students through music education with pillars of inspiration, education, and creating music. Youth Council member, musician Chloe Green recommended this outstanding organization for presentation this evening. Sharing a program of Latin jazz fusion music this evening, we'll, he we'll hear the following ensembles. CSM Jazz Collective, NVCC Jazz Combo, Thursday Flat Five, Forte, and Sweet Four. Please give a warm welcome to the Katonkin School of Music.
fortune or fame I don't need a new career a sympathetic ear a name all I need is time to play only want the Don't 
you want to be the life of the party? Don't you want to be the cream of the crop? Don't you want to feel those shivering fits till someone calls it quits? Someone calls the cops? Don't you want to lay the role of a lifetime? Well, you better get down on one knee. Cause you can play the life of the party. And you can pray with me. Ooh. Who needs lovers? Not I. Who needs heaven above? I don't have time for things 
Thank you.
everyone. Um, so thank you again to the Cockton uh, School of Music for those wonderful performances. Let's give them all another big round of applause. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so up next is uh, Taika Wallace. She is a spoken word and theater artist and as, uh, as well as a member of the DC Youth Slam team. She has also won the National Young Arts Foundation Award for Writing. So please welcome Taika Wallace. Last summer, I was on a slam team. Two boys, two girls, and me, the baby. Being the youngest on the team, having never been in a romantic relationship and lacking a filter, I was deemed na naive of the bunch. I spent the summer learning what to say, how to say it, and be perceived as someone who has their shit together. Kinda. That summer, I watched girls beat their face with exotically named powders on raindrop sponges. Somehow, green paint with brown on top could make a caramel complexion girl look like the sun shone in her honor. The sun came down, kissed her face, and left marks on her cheeks and called it highlighter. These girls, who somehow knew how to combine and blend exactly which powder when, these people are scientists. They carried makeup pouches with them, which doubled as their alchemy kits. I learned that baking and beating are not acts of violence, but artistic expression. Brown-skinned girls staring at themselves with dark eyes, baking, beating, plucking, and puckering. I heard many exasperated sighs directed my way when I tried to wear bright pink lipstick that totally washed me out in public with no foundation on. We're both black, my coach said. Neither of us has any interest embarrassing ourselves or our parents going on stage looking like a mess. I had to learn that people being harsh did not always carry malice or animosity, even when they rolled their eyes and sighed at every one of my questions, like, what is an eyeshadow base? I mean, this is basically the same color as my skin. I can wear this, right? On my first trip to Sephora, I stood in the center of the floor and I just watched. Confused by tiny tubes of paint and color, how do these people know what to do with this stuff? A week later, I analyzed my reflection in a window. I'm wearing a sh my new, very short haircut, wearing a short, form-fitting summer dress, hugging the dip from my torso to my hips. I look stunning. The sun is shining. I'm wearing sunglasses and a silver necklace as if it sh it, that shines as if it wanted the world to notice me before I was ready to admire myself. And it is in this moment that I truly see myself as older than 12. I am a mature, confident person who has no idea how to grow up and make this image permanent. Learning how to grow into my womanhood was painful, but there were no awkward knee pains growth spurt knee pains or awkward acne. There were moments when I was so lost in the shuffle, I wasn't sure I was in the deck. It's as if my body matured, but my brain and my wardrobe didn't. I was grapes instead of wine, a sapling instead of a plant, wait a minute, a seed instead of a plant. I felt like a sapling in a forest of redwoods. My mother chalks this up to never having friends my age. She can tell me how to deal with a red wave of blood every month, but not how to buy a bra or explain why seamless underwear exists. I was breastfed milk, but not knowledge on this subject. So here I am. This is, gro is growing into my version of womanhood, all short hair and enough lipstick to make a rainbow or sometimes yoga pants and oversized sweatshirts. 17 years old, attempting to learn what foundation is and how to apply eyeliner properly. And maybe, Womanhood is not what I think it is. Maybe it is trial and error, and see what you discover along the way. All right, cool. So we about to do an energy check because like that was a lot and um, I wanna make sure you guys are not sleeping. All right, cool. So when I say French, you say fry. French? Friend? Nice. I love it when people participate. All right, how we doing, Kennedy Center? How we doing? Yes, clap, clap, hoot, holler, snap, do something. 
isn't it wonderful when the youth get together and, you know, stop complaining about homework? Okay. So now we have Grawl with a short film. One second, I'm going to pass the mic off to him. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, she forgot a programmer, a violinist, and a philanthropist right there. But uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Gural Nareev, and today I am not performing myself. Instead, I brought you something. Watch, rinse, repeat. Written, directed, and edited by... <laughs> edited by Janice, uh, a local student and a friend of mine. Please, enjoy.
I have always wondered. I'm being really deep, right? You know, you just pace back and forth. It's like I'm doing a TED talk. This is fantastic. Okay, I've always wondered. Let's see. You know, how do you how do you how do you measure a year? Do you measure it in in sunsets, in midnight, possibly in cups of coffee? Back to my script. Okay, so tune in featuring youth council member Serene Balin. Yes. Yes, cool. I got her name right. Is the co is in the co-ed glee club of the Ken the National Cathedral School. I was only going to say the Kennedy Center. The Kennedy Center doesn't have a school, at least not that I know of. Anyway, National Cathedral School community, and this was founded in 2017 in hopes of creating a group where students can express their love of music in a nurturing and supportive environment and enabling students in the arts supportive environment, enabling students to experience the arts, there we go, even if it's not doing what they love all the time. So, as you may have guessed, yes, as you may have guessed, they are singing Seasons of Love, please give it up for them. Is this on? Oh, it is on. Okay, cool. Okay. Now, as teenagers, we often find ourselves wishing for the future and all the promises that the future seemed to hold. 
And now to introduce another Kennedy Center Youth Council Board member. That is a mouthful. Another Kennedy Center Youth Council Board member, Brooke Miller, singing Somewhere from West Side Story, accompanied by Darren Stringer on the piano. And that almost concludes our show. And now if I could have the board members and Ray come up to the stage, we will now give a standing O or a standing Q, whatever you like, pick a letter, to the Kennedy Center Youth Council Board. Just kidding, here's Mallory. The Kennedy Center is a living memorial to John F. Kennedy and the Kennedy Center Youth Council strives to bring the blood of creation, to speak our minds, to appreciate the beauty of the world around us, and to, pro to promote change, and to bring arts to those who may not already have it in their lives, or more likely, do not already recognize it. We are proud to be members of the Kennedy Center Youth Council, serving as leaders and ambassadors to the Kennedy Center to make sure that teens are welcome, re represented, and honored as contributors to arts and culture. We want to take a moment to recognize the wonderful support of Jeanette McCune, Ray Llanos, Serena Dibb, the Kennedy Center Education Department, and countless other mentors and advisors. Thank you, for we wouldn't be here today without you. And on behalf of the Kennedy Center Youth Council, thank you. Thank you for joining us 